Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Ted's Cafe Escondido. I think that's how it's pronounced. I tried anyway. Today we're gonna do here their five pound burrito challenge. Don't know much about it, but I'll give you the details. So let's go eat it. All right, everybody, so here with the challenge. So we have this massive burrito. We have a whole bunch of chips in it as well, a whole bunch of sauces, also some pickled vegetables. Then we have some extra tortillas and a fried sopa pia, which is kind of like a churro. It's like fried dough. So yeah, it looks really good. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to eat this, beat this, get the meal for free. Raina, ready to speed it? Yes. All right, so 30 minutes. Uh, Raina, what do you say we get started here? Okay. Ready to rock? Yes. All right, we're gonna try to stay clean. We have some awesome here, people here watching us, so we'll see what happens. And uh, with that, Raina, wanna give us a countdown? <laughs> All right, I'll give us a countdown. So we'll say count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Wish us luck. A little bit of spice to it. Tastes good though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Ted's here in Oklahoma City, guys. So this is my first time in Oklahoma City, my first time uh, technically in Oklahoma. Um, first we went to Tulsa and then we came on down here to Oklahoma City on our way down to Texas. So, uh, super excited to be in Oklahoma City. It was really cool to check it all out. We're ultimately doing their burrito challenge. So 30 minutes to do, um, what is about five, maybe six pounds of food. You have the burrito, then you have the mandatory sauces, you have mandatory salsa, you have a mandatory queso cheese, and the mandatory pickled vegetables. And then you also have um, guacamole. Uh, the burrito is served wet with other cheeses and stuff on it. Um, in was like standard, it's just standard burrito. I believe it was uh, ground beef, uh, then sour cream, uh, rice, beans, lettuce, tomatoes. And then we had also a pile of tortilla chips. So you definitely had a bit of variety in this challenge. Good. It's pretty good. I always find tortilla chips very difficult in challenges because um, they're very sharp and they're very abrasive and trying to eat that quickly uh, I find is very hard on the mouth. It can lead to like kind of cutting your lips and cutting your mouth and jabbing it in weird ways and let's just say food has cut my mouth up in many different ways a few times. I guess that's kind of a part of eating so much. <laughs> if you eat a lot, it's like it's part of the danger of the job per se. Um, but the burrito was good, um, pretty solid tasting, no real complaints. Um, you know, I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a burrito generally. Um, the flavors were good. Definitely uh, was a bit, of the, a bit of spice, a bit more spice than I would have thought or expected. And in this burrito challenge, it's not like it was like ghost pepper, you know, sauce or anything like that but uh, for it to be you know just classified as a normal burrito um, it was quite spicy for what I consider to be a normal burrito uh, but overall again like I said it was good tasting and it wasn't like too too spicy Tasty. pretty spicy though at this location Randy Santel had come and set a record uh, maybe about a year before a couple months before I think it was about a year though um, he did it in about 16 minutes um, and again, we had the 30 minute time limit. And if you eat it uh, and, can, and beat the challenge, you get the meal for free, which is pretty dang cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and yeah, so there's a couple locations of Ted's in Oklahoma in general. Um, there's ones in and around Tulsa. There's ones here in Oklahoma City. Um, and we just happen to end up at this one in Oklahoma City. The staff at this location were very, very nice. Uh, in fact, when we did the challenge, we arrived and there's a couple people there uh, to watch us. The management kind of like perked their ears up and was like, oh, like you guys come do the challenge? We didn't know. And of course we were like, well, we, we just barely, well, we did technically announce it, maybe with like an hour's notice, a so super last minute. But of course, this is just a challenge you can just show up for. So that's exactly what we did. Um, and yeah, ultimately, um, they came and uh, they, they were, I should say that they made a extra special point of uh, making our experience extra special. Um, they were watching us, uh, giving us a little bit of extra attention to make sure we had everything we needed. And um, yeah, I have nothing positive, nothing but positive, um, you know, feedback to give them. It was very great. They were very accommodating and uh, helped make the experience extra special. Um, I did also forget to mention there's a couple, there was a couple tortillas with this challenge as well, a couple extra tortillas. So I just used them to kind of uh, eat the rest of my remnants there. Basically just the chips, so it would be a left. A little bit of remnants, and then our sauce is here. Oh, 
I'm gonna make a soup. Mix it all together. Excuse me. The challenge also had a sopapilla. This is my first time having a sopapilla, but basically it's just like a fried dough. And I honestly, I'd almost describe it like a fried tortilla, um, like a fried flour tortilla kind of thing, um, or like a fried pita bread, and anyway, fried dough. And then they put like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar on it. It's kind of like an ultra, ultra, ultra basic, not overly sweet, just, you know, whatever, I guess, fried dough, dessert, etc. Um, but I think that's pretty much all the info I had to give you today. So hopefully um, we'll get some wins here. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Um, let me know down below, guys, are you a wet or a dry burrito? So fun fact, growing up in Canada, I never had wet burritos until I started going to the States. It just wasn't something I grew up with. A burrito to me was like a Chipotle kind of style burrito um, where you just basically put whatever you want in it, wrap it up in a tortilla, and that was a burrito. So uh, wet or dry, guys, let me know down below. And uh, while there are many things in, like, in life that I like wet, I think I am a little bit more, eh, maybe a little bit more of a dry burrito person. But that being said, I gotta have lots and lots and lots of salsa in it. So I like my sauces in it. I think maybe that's the best way to put it. Then I can work my hands, use my magic a little bit better. But everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. Wish us luck, fingers crossed, and uh, let's see what happens. about seven minutes in. Both finishing up. Ranger just has a bit of burrito left. I just have a little bit of this and sopia. So yeah, doing well. Alright, so just finished up. I'm guessing maybe about eight and a half minutes, something like that. Timer, of course, will be on the screen. Now we're just tuning to Reyna, she's just crushing it. Keep good work, girl. We've got about 21 minutes left. Lots of time, and uh, that was delicious. That's so a really nice way to finish off. So, Ugh, excuse me. Tune in as Reyna decides to crush this thing as well. Hey, Reyna. Stop. Those chips are hard. Crispy. Better lay 
off the margarita at the moment. Appreciate it. Bro. Plus 500 horsepower. At this location, record 16 minutes. So I guess the old record for this location was uh, 16 minutes. So we got that beat a little bit, and Reina is actually still uh, five minutes before that record as well. So Reina can even beat that old record as well. That's right. That's right. She can do it. Doing well. Just down to her last couple bites. She's doing really well. Keep it up, Raina. Just a couple bites there. Doing good. We all believe in her. And she's gonna get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Oh my God. as well. Uh, again, super fun time down, we had down here in Oklahoma and Oklahoma City. So with that everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, don't do what we do. Of course, happy eating. Get yourself some food. Ted's really cool spot, great staff, and uh, have a lovely day. I, I thought I was going to say bye for rain. Until next time, everybody. Excellent, and much love here in OKC. We got lovely people come on out to give us some support here. So thanks everybody who came on out. We like posting this super last minute. So for the fact that they took their time to come out of the day to watch a shove her face full of food is pretty damn cool. So much love, Oklahoma, thanks so much. And back at one of my favorite places, we are in 
freaking Bucky's. I love Bucky's. Bucky's is an awesome place. It's a huge gas station, hundreds of pumps. Not to mention they got like fudge. They have hundreds of kinds of beef jerky behind me. They got beef brisket. They got barbecue. They got like everything you can imagine. So Bucky's a must do in Texas. And yes, we're in Texas. So excited to be back. Turtle. Look at the turtles. Ready or sliders? There's a whole bunch of them. Oh my god, that's horrible. One, two, three, four, five. It's a lot of turtles. Turtles? But yeah, here at White White Rock Lake oh, in Dallas. Very, very, very beautiful. Actually, there's a lot of turtles. There's a whole bunch over there too. I don't even really see them sticking out of the water, but another one, there's another one. She's a little mouth. So yeah, very beautiful. Very, very nice out here in White Rock Lake. Some uh, some ducks, there's one, some more over there. What's that orange thing? Or is it just something? Which is a piece of plaster. This is very pretty. People fishing. <laughs> 